Sound yeah. zone? It's, Everything's good? Yeah, it's fine. I'm already rolling, Phil. Right. Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Pretty good. Tonight on the show, we're going to make a pretty popular dish. It's called Shrimp and Grits. My nose just made a really weird sound. I wonder if it'll pick it up I on didn't the mic. Hear it. it went boy. Anyways, shrimp and grits was requested by these people. Assuming someone requested it. I don't, I don't know. I didn't look it up. Uh, shrimp and grits is a pretty quick and easy meal. You, it's typically shrimp and a couple vegetables cooked in bacon and then put on cheese grits. And if you don't know what grits are, it's ground up bits of corn. It's uh, very popular in the southern states of the United States of America. Courtney and I are sipping on Urban Artifact Bapiosaurus. This is a boysenberry barrel aged beer, spontaneously fermented. So this is a uh, barrel aged sour and it's really funky and it's really sour and I like it just okay. But Courtney really likes it. That's the first step. We, we opened it before. So sip on your beverage. All right, it, not too complicated, but we do need to get some ingredients prepped. I've got some shrimp here. These are not real big shrimp. They're, uh, they're pretty small. But in this application, do you need big shrimp? No. Do you ever need big shrimp? No, you don't really. They all taste pretty much the same. It's just for fun when they're big, right? I like the big shrimp. One downside though of using smaller shrimp is uh, you gotta feel more of them. So these are mostly thawed. I thawed them in the fridge. So I'm just putting a little water on there to finish the thawing process. And then we will shift to bacon. Just about every recipe I looked at called for bacon. Yeah, so we're gonna cook some bacon. You can either cut up your bacon and then cook it, or you can cook it and then crumble it. I personally like to cut it up. I feel like it cooks better that way. So I'm using probably about a half pound of bacon. It's probably too much, but I'm not gonna complain about extra bacon and I will use it for something. And this is definitely an early step because you need to slowly cook the bacon to render out some of the fat. That fat will be a cooking base for you to cook everything else. All right, over here I got a uh, cast iron skillet. I haven't really used this that much on the show in recent times. I tend to like nonstick, but you can just go ahead and plop all that bacon into the pan. I'm using the knife transfer method. It's very, oh. very safe, very good, highly accurate. Yeah, it really looks that way. No problem. All right, the rest of that bacon, we'll do something else with it some other time. What do you think so far, Cork? Not a lot's happening. So I'm doing my best. All right. Okay, here I am spreading the bacon out. Again, I prefer to do this on lower heat more time to render out the fat. So we'll just mine that for a little bit. Meanwhile, we can uh, prepare our shrimp. And by prepare, I mean peel them. Aw, where's Kevin? If Kevin were here. I would be asking him to help, but he's not here. Damn. All right, you can see they're pretty small shrimp. They're so small that might even, you know, even if you chop them up, that's not necessary. They're probably bite size. It's probably desirable, right? Yeah. Okay, peel all your shrimp. All right, I peeled all the shrimp. There they are. Nice full of shrimp. Good stuff. The uh, bacon's still rendering. You can see that it's starting to brown a little bit. Already we got plenty of bacon grease. So we'll just keep stirring that around as it renders down. And now would be a good time to get the grits going. Probably should have started with that, but I didn't think about it. Okay, so grits, pretty easy. Pretty easy. Most of them have directions even. This one, the ingredients are milk grits. Usually you want to use like a one to two ratio of dry to water. It's actually pretty nice that like unlike some other grains you can really like tinker with it at the end. So the ratio is not so important. So like if they're too thick you can thin them out with water. Or if they're too thin you can add some more grits. Hopefully they cook. All right. So we're just gonna make a cup of grits because it's just me and Courtney eating we don't need that much food. All right so there's grits. Check them out. You can see there's little brown bits. That's just bits of uh, like the ear of corn. It's no big deal. It's not bugs, don't worry. Then we'll add two cups of water. Just start. We'll get that cooking. You can cover if you want. You don't have to. And we'll get that simmering away. Got this Bold Rock Premium Dry Hard Cider. This was sent by our friends Cody and Jillian. No, it wasn't. No, I bought it I bought it at the store. <laughs> we have it now. Yeah, we're really excited. This is from uh, Virginia. It's close to where they live. And they just started distributing here. I was very pleased. So uh, I take back my thanks to Cody and Jillian. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That boiled really quick, so just turn down the, the heat on your grits. Oh, you can add some salt too. 
Might as well. Okay, let's work on vegetables. We're gonna use a small onion. You you have some um, latitude in terms of how many vegetables you put into this. I think actually I'm only gonna use half this small onion, also known as half an onion. So we'll mince that up. This is primarily for flavor. That is usually why you cook with onions. Sounds like our grits are getting a little clotted. I gotta move it to the back burner. Front burner is just so hot sometimes that you can't cook things slowly. Okay, so check this out. Check this out, Courtney. This is already thick. I already think I need to water it down. So I just splashed some water in there. No problem. We'll just let it do its thing. Okay, this bacon's almost done. Most of it looks cooked. Gonna give it another minute. Make sure those last pieces get done. You can see that Iggy likes to park himself down here when I'm cooking. I trip over him all the time and he just licks the hell out of the floor because he knows something's gonna end up on the floor. He's just doing his best. Okay, back to the vegetables. I'm also gonna put in a green bell pepper, half of one. Not Courtney's favorite thing by any means, so I'm gonna chop it up pretty small. But if you take this in the direction of it being more Cajun-y or kind of like uh, Creole, which I apologize for using those interchangeably, a bell pepper would be appropriate. Really, for us tonight, this is just a way of sneaking in a couple more vegetables. That's forcing Courtney to eat a couple more vegetables. Or she'll just pick them out. No comments? It's fine. They'll cook down. They'll just taste like bacon. So if you, if you want, if you like big pieces of pepper, by all means, don't mince them up. But I like them small. Okay. Bacon looks done to me, so we'll pull that out. All right. And straight away, we can just take those veggies that we uh, just chopped. Throw them on in. And I'll give them a stir. If you if you want to be more health conscious, you could like reduce the amount of bacon fat. But this is not a very healthy meal anyway, so I don't know what the point of that is. You should not eat shrimp and grits for health. Although now I'm curious if there's like some South Beach diet version of shrimp and grits. And how awful that must be. All right. What else? We can put some garlic in. That's normal. We we'll always be putting garlic in. Couple cloves, why not? Why not, Courtney? Courtney has no suggestions as to why not to put the garlic in, and therefore, we'll throw in some garlic. So I'm just smashing each clove, pretty much how I always do it, and then I also pretty much always just try to chop it. This is how I cook with garlic, almost every time. Well, I think people might accuse me of tempering your wit again this time. No, I'm have no, I, I just have nothing funny to say. It's, it's really a struggle to, uh, you know, consistently be funny, which is why I am not consistently funny on this show. <laughs> I mean, what is there to say? I mean, I'm just cooking some fine vegetables and bacon fat. You know, I don't have as many good uh, work stories or anything because I work from home all the time now. And I, you know, I have less and less funny interactions and more and more like, you know, disappointing <laughs> interactions with people. But you know, like we're just hanging out, you know, there's not, not really a lot going on. And that's a good thing, given the general state of affairs. It's good that things are boring. So, I don't know, if PGC is boring right now, just be happy for us. You can be sad for yourself, but you probably already were sad for yourself, viewer. I'm just kidding, Courtney, I'm just kidding. You guys got so wide. Cool. They like it. They like it when I razz them. Mm. Oh shit, the grits are thick. Look at this. <laughs> it's so thick already. The spatula helps them from sticking to the bottom. Oh, are these done? Are these quick? Quick grits? Oh, they ain't done. Oh, they ain't done. It's just thick, but it's not, it's not cooked. Are you sure your one to two ratio? No, I, it was obviously wrong. I knew you were full of BS. It was, it was obviously wrong. I knew that was some BS. I think I was supposed to right? a one to four. Mm. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I pulled that number out of my ass. I knew it. Okay, so over here I'm making some chicken stock. Better than bouillon. Really only need about a cup. We'll get you just a little spoonful of paste. Then we run some water. It's about a cup. Got some green onions over here. Chop off the ends. Slice up the white part. But these, the second one, we're also gonna slice them up thinner as a topping. That's fine. These guys can go in the pan. Give them a mix. All right, now we will add our stock. And it's on very low heat, so there shouldn't be a lot of pyrotechnics when you add the stock. See? See how it's fine? No big deal. Doesn't really look that pretty, does it? At this point, actually, we can add a little hot sauce. We're gonna use Tabasco today. A few dashes of hot sauce here. We'll turn the heat up. And we probably could we probably could doctor our grits now. Okay, so now our grits, you can see they're a little thin. They could be thicker. Still ain't cooked enough. Turn the heat up on our grits. We'll make short work of those. Also, I'm cooking some broccoli, by the way. Gotta squeeze a lemon to that too. Might taste pretty nice. Pretty sure we got a whole lemon in here. You could use a lid if you want, or you could just keep stirring. A little lemon juice. You want to even add a little Cajun seasoning or Creole, such as uh, Tony Chisiri's. 
I hope that's how you say it. I don't know. Just a little bit. All right, we'll let this reduce here a couple minutes. I think that's it for now. We'll be back. All right, these grits are actually cooked now. You can see they're fairly thick, but we're gonna add some stuff to make them creamy. But I tasted them and they're not chewy anymore and that's, that's really what you're looking for. Okay, so if you got heavy cream, you can use that. We just have half and half, so just a little bit. Just like a, a once over, like so. And then you could use uh, shredded cheddar. That's a common thing used for this. But I want it to be fancy, so we're using powdered Parmesan so for more of a white cheese flavor profile. Powdered parm is perfect for this kind of application because it'll melt really fast. So really don't hold back on the cheese. And then you take that. That might have been too much cheese. Never. <laughs> Never enough. But you can see as we kind of whip it up, now we have wonderful creamy cheese grits. That's good. I actually could use a little bit more half and half. Look at that, it's so cheesy. Oh yeah. All right, so those are done. Keep those warm on the side, and then we'll finish off this. This couldn't be simpler. You just take your shrimp and pop them in. So here's the shrimp. You can just simmer them in this sauce. It'll only take a couple minutes. Turn the heat up if you want to do it faster. I'm gonna butter the broccoli. We'll see you soon. All right, shrimp are done. It's time to plate her up. So we start with the grits. Oh, fine cheese grits. So cheesy. I have never made cheesier cheese grits, to be honest. Cody says, Whoa. that is no problem. You know what is a problem though? Using a small spatula is not, not gonna work. Get ourselves a bigger spoon, and we'll take the cheese grits and you plop them. Now it's up to you how many cheese grits you wanna eat. I'm being fairly conservative there. I probably will eat more than that. But I'm gonna plate the shrimp with the sauce on top, and some of the sauce is gonna like fill the moat of this shallow plate. You can even make kind of a, uh, a divot if you want the presentation to look a little bit better. Make a divot in the middle so that they stay on top of your grits. And then we'll spoon some shrimp in the sauce, and you can see that it kind of fills around the well. Doesn't that look nice? It looks pretty nice, I think. I'm biased, but I made it. And then you can garnish with some green onion and some of those bacon bits that you used, like so. And there you have a version of shrimp and grits. Which, by the way, there's lots of different versions of this dish. And I know, I know someone who doesn't normally watch the channel is gonna pop in the comments and be like, That's not shrimp and grits. Well, you are objectively and subjectively wrong. There are both shrimp and grits in this dish, therefore it is shrimp and grits. And you can take that to your bank or credit union or weird third party financial service. You ready to give it a try, Court? Feed me. So I'm gonna try a shrimp and grit. Uh, by the way, before I do try this, my southern family likes to make fun of people who don't know what grits are and often are like, they tell long elaborate jokes about someone ordering one grit at a diner. It's really good. <laughs> it's really, really good. I think the grits are actually my favorite part. I think the, the cheese really, really complements all the other savory flavors in this. Personally, I want it more spicy, so I'm gonna probably add some more hot sauce. It's time for Courtney to try. You ready, Court? Mm. What do you think? Yeah, that's standard. All right, guys. That's a version of shrimp and grits. Then it kind of remind you of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Similar flavors. All right, well, that's how you do it. Courtney and I are gonna eat this, and we'll see you next time on the next video, but we won't actually see you because you'll be seeing us. Okay, bye.